Well, Oklahomans from all over the state remembering one of the most influential Native Americans of the last half century, Enoch Kelly Haney, passed away a week ago at the age of 81, but his memory will live on. Chief Haney was truly a great, great man in every sense of the world. It felt like there was nothing he couldn't do. Saturday afternoon at the First Americans Museum in Oklahoma City, family, friends, former governors, and Native American leaders gathering to pay their respects to former chief of the Seminole Nation, Enoch Kelly Haney. You know, there's a lot of talk about servant leaders these days, and he was the epitome of a servant leader. Haney, probably best known as a world-renowned artist, his 17-foot guardian sculpture stands on top of the state capitol dome. He also helped get the Red Earth Festival off the ground. His memory celebrated with the humor Haney was known for. When they knew that I was a Haney, they say, are you the one that put the uh, statue on the capitol? I said, no, no, I'm not the one that done it. All I did was pose for it. <laughs> so. But Haney, not just an artist. <laughs> He served in the National Guard. He was also the first full-blood Native American to serve in the Oklahoma legislature, serving in the House and the Senate from 1980 to 2002. Haney instrumental in creating the First Americans Museum. He wrote legislation to create this museum, and he constantly came back to the Capitol to ensure that we did everything we could to fund it. We got it done. Faith leaders remembering his kind but powerful spirit. He spent his life empowering wholeness within the people, sovereignty within Native nations, kindness between communities, and demonstrating the power of a life of service served with humility. Do not think of it as goodbye. We will see each other again. I had the opportunity to interview him a couple times. Really, really just a great man.